Hi folks, I um, thought I would uh, take a little time here just communicate some more thoughts about the course here. I decided to throw a little picture up here uh, for everybody to take a look at here so you can put a face with the uh, voice and videos here. So this is me here, Captain Rod here. Uh, this is actually, this picture was taken at Augury, Michigan about, oh, I don't know, maybe four years ago or so. We had a nice day on the water uh, walleye fishing. I thought I'd just ha have something nice to uh, look at while we chat. So I want to talk a little bit about the beginning of the course so far, where we're at, where we're heading. So first part of the course was, you know, we talked about uh, the study of motion, which was mainly about thinking about the concept of velocity, which tells you uh, how fast something's going and, what and in what direction and how to use velocity graphs to analyze um, the motion of an object using concepts of slope and area. Slope giving what's called the acceleration and the area under the curve giving the uh, displacement. Second part of the course here, number two, is about Newton's laws, right? And that's what we're doing here. We're just getting ready for uh, taking a quiz on that next week. Newton's three laws of motion, Newton's first law, Newton's second law, Newton's third law. I've already made another video um, going over those, so I'm not going to bother here. The third unit is about principles of work and energy. Um, that's going to be starting, uh, you know, after the right, well, it's going to start the day the unit two quiz opens. This is, this is really big stuff here. This is where the importance of the class really starts uh, uh, gaining strength here. Really, really important concepts are work energy concepts, not just for understanding physics, but for understanding really the universe, to tell you the truth. I wanted to mention something about um, the units coming up here. The first two units were relatively short. There wasn't much in unit one, not a truckload really in unit two. A lot of you, I think, probably blew through the homework pretty fast. Unit three is going to be a little bit longer and maybe a tad more difficult. Probably not more difficult, but a little bit longer. And after that, when we get into unit four, they're going to be quite a bit more difficult. The difficulty and length is going to uh, increase considerably. So. Um, Make sure that as you plan your time for the remainder of the course, you may budget a, a bit more time than you have been using to complete the homework. It's probably going to take quite a bit more, uh, starting a little bit with the third unit and quite a bit more after that. So try to budget for at least maybe even double the time you've been uh, putting in. I just want to be sure that you know when you get into this region, it's not a it's not a shock that it, there is more work coming up ahead. All right. I wanted to talk a bit more too about the schedules. Oops. Uh, pardon me one moment. Okay, folks, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. So this is kind of where we've been. There's quite a few more units coming. I just want to make sure that everybody uh, has a good running start into units three on because unit three is a little longer. Units four, five, six, seven are going to be quite a bit longer and a bit more abstract. That's going to make them a little bit more difficult to follow. All right, I want to talk a little bit too about dates here. So uh, one thing is, and I apologize that there's been some confusion on some of the due dates. So let me go over, well, first of all, let me let everyone kind of talk about why. These Moodle systems and the online homework systems, they've got like a hundred settings on them. I mean, there's just an unbelievable amount of settings. And when you do something like you set a date or uh, set a criteria on a test, it's really amazing how many different places you have to change those dates. So what, ha what happened here this last time is I chose a due date for our homework. For unit two, which is 10.6, then I went to WebAssign and assigned it. And even though I may have put it there physically, it kept because I didn't actually click in and change the date from last time. It uh, it kept that date up. So, and I forget what it says now. I think it says maybe 10.13 or something. My intention here is I will honor the homework due date that Moodle says for unit two. However, the quiz is still going to be on 10.6. In general, we're going to be on a two-week cycle. The homework will be due on Fridays. The quiz will open that Friday. Plus, I'll give two additional days for doing the quiz, uh, quizzes just to try to accommodate your schedule. So the quizzes are always going to be available Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to pretty much make them available 5 p.m. on Friday through Sunday night, 11 p.m. So the next unit is going to be due 14 days after that. I believe that would be 1020. So the homework will be due that Friday, and the quiz will open at 5. And then 14 days after that, the next unit will be due. I think that's 11.3. And again, the, the quiz or uh, yeah, quiz will open at 5 and so forth. So I just want to apologize a little bit about the uh, date confusion for you, but that's what we're going to do just like this for the remainder of the semester. In general, if you see something conflicting, go with what the Moodle site says. If I miss something on the WebAssign site, don't worry about it. The Moodle site is where I'm updating all the current information. 
Also, any questions that you have, please put them in the Moodle forum. Uh, I would like them to show up there because then everybody can see them and everyone can benefit from it. If you have something that you think is not appropriate for the group, just email me personally. The one thing I wanted to warn you from though is this, not to put any emails on the web assign site. I don't check that at all. So I'm looking, I'm looking at the Moodle site under the forum or I'm watching my own personal email, which is price r at kellogg.edu. So if you need anything, make sure you use one of these two uh, outlets here and don't post anything on the web assign site. That's just for your homework. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of make this video and uh, chat with you folks some because we don't get to interact a whole lot. Uh, wanted to make sure you kind of knew who it was you were uh, working with and hopefully you know a little bit about where we've been and, and we're going to talk in the future here about where we're going, right? Everybody have a great weekend and um, enjoy.